Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I was always told I had a voice radio, so today I am bringing you news of a new Drampa card that is going to be coming out in Dragon Storm in Japan, which means we'll have it moderately soon, either in a main set or in a mini set. We don't actually know, ladies and gentlemen, but it is a Drampa, and this Drampa could be rather interesting. Now, as is the case a lot at the moment, our translation comes from the lovely David Hockman over at LimitlessTCG.com. And if we look at the basics to start off with, it's got 120 HP, which, as I've said in a bunch of videos, is actually really annoying. There are a bunch of really good Pokemon, like Glycopod, like... Silvalli GX, like Zoroark, the best Pokemon in the format, that ordinarily hit for 120. So if you've got 130 HP, like something like a Registeel does, you can survive a hit. 120 HP you can't, that does make a fairly large difference. Retreat cost to one is quite nice, especially given the main attack we're going to be using here is for a single energy. And a weakness to fairy is a little bit of a pain, because the Dene from the upcoming Forbidden Light expansion is going to have a field day here. Tadene does 30 damage, 60 if you've got a lightning Pokemon on the bench, 120 if you're hitting for weakness, and that of course will be enough to KO a Drampa here. Which is to say, another reason why we really wish Drampa had 130 HP rather than 120. Being a dragon Pokemon means you're hitting nothing for weakness, but if Drampa wasn't a dragon Pokemon, it would be a colorless Pokemon, and it would still be hitting nothing for weakness. But you do get all of the usual tricks with Dragon Pokemon. You get Devoured Field to do an extra 10 damage. You get Altaria to do an extra 20 damage. And you do get Zinnia and Lance Prism Star, both of which we are going to be talking about as we go through this video because they are exceptionally relevant to this particular Pokemon. So the first attack is the one on which we are really focused here. One colorless energy, 20 damage, attach a basic energy from your discard pile to one of your dragon Pokemon. And if this sounds familiar, it really should. We've had a bunch of Pokemon like this over the last few years. We've had Eveltal, who does this for darkness type Pokemon and has been reprinted like 20 different times. We've got Volcanion, who does this for Fire Pokemon, although admittedly that does do 20 and attach two basic energy from your discard to your bench Pokemon. And recently we've had Raikou from Shining Legends that does a bit of damage and accelerates an energy. What is kind of annoying though, Drampa is actually the worst of all of them. If out all 30 damage, one energy accelerated. Raikou, 30 damage, one energy accelerated. Volcanion, 20 damage, two energy accelerated. Drampa, 20 damage, one energy accelerated. Given that you've also got 120 HP, where Volcanion has 130, and Eveltal has 130, this is actually kind of annoying. It's a bit like they're picking on Drampa. We've seen this card a few times, but it is, in terms of the basics here, the worst of all of them. Although I will say that it does have a retreat cost of 1, whereas the others all have a retreat cost of 2, and you do generally want to use this first attack and then retreat, so I suppose at least in terms of the retreat cost, this is pretty good. And let's face it, we know this is a good attack. Alright, Raikou's not seen a huge amount of play, but that's because the only lightning deck that's really getting play at the moment is using Pachirisu, which is a better way to accelerate energy. But if Altul's seen a whole bunch of play in Darkness decks since X and Y, and Volcanion still sees play in a whole bunch of Fire decks, all these Ho-Oh decks, etc. that have seen play lately do tend to play at least one or two copies of this. So, this is a good card, and there's no doubt about that. It is going to see play just like all the rest it saw play. The huge downside here is it's got 120 HP, which means whereas a lot of the time Volcania will get two attacks before it goes down, this will get one attack before it goes down. But here's the thing. We need 
a starter Pokemon in Dragon decks at the moment. We need a Pokemon to sit at the front and help us set up and then go down. Because there are two Dragon supporters which are actually brilliant at the moment, but both of which can only be used after you had a Pokemon KO'd the previous turn. So we've got Zinnia. If you had a Pokemon KO'd the previous turn, you may attach two basic energy from your hand to one of your Dragon Pokemon. And we've got Lance Prism Star, your once per game Prism Star. So you can only have one of them in your deck, and when you use it, it goes to the Lost Zone and can't be recovered. But it means you get to search your deck for two Dragon Pokemon, and then put them straight onto your bench. That is absolutely phenomenal, ladies and gentlemen. The thing is, both of those rely on having had a Pokemon KO'd the previous turn. And I've made no secret of the fact that I really like Dragonite. I think Dragonite is a really good card that should see a lot of play, but is a stage two. So what you essentially do is you use Drampa here, you accelerate some energy onto a benched Dragon Pokemon, doesn't really matter what it is, and then when it gets KO'd, you get Lance Prism Star and off you go. And then of course Dragonite's GX attack allows you to get free Dragon Pokemon from the discard, put them straight onto the bench even if they're not basics, so that's how you get the rest of your Dragonite rolling. The thing is, in order to really have this tactic, You've got to have a Pokemon KO'd. You really start with Lance. And what you don't want to do is just have a Pokemon KO'd and get nowhere. So have a Drampa. Attack for a turn or two. Accelerate some energy onto a benched, I don't know, Dratini or whatever. And then when your Drampa goes down, you can then use Lance Prism Star and you are rolling. This is a great card, and I like the idea of playing a Dragon deck, something like Dragonite with Lance, and this is just the starter. This is absolutely what you need here. Now, a couple quick extra things. Firstly, when I was mentioning the ones earlier, I forgot to mention Registeel, which is weird because I even mentioned that earlier in my video. A little bit strange. Again, 30 damage, 1 energy. What is weird is that all of these other Pokemon allow you to accelerate energy to any bench Pokemon. Drampa only lets you accelerate energy to a benched Dragon Pokemon. Oh no, wait, because the translation we have at the moment is to one of your Dragon Pokemon, which would presumably include Drampa. And Drampa does have an attack here. It's just not very good. Free colorless energy, 80 damage. But remember, you're hitting nothing for weakness here. So, okay, fine, you can use double colorless energy, and that's okay. And you will be KOing all of those annoying basic Pokemon, like Zorua, for instance. And even a whole bunch of stage ones, I don't know, let's say a Curlia, will be KO'd by this attack. But honestly, it's not an attack you should be particularly excited about using, and it's not an attack to go and do very often. You would rather have the energy on a different Pokemon. But it's colorless energy, just like the first attack, which means it can fit into any deck whatsoever. It's a nice little bonus, but that is all it is. This second attack, it's fine. But it's not really one you want to be getting all bent out of shape about and using every turn or any of that rubbish. What you want to do is use this as a starting Pokemon for a Dragon-type deck. Just like Volcanion did for Fire decks, Evil Tail did for Darkness decks, Registeel did for Metal decks. The difference is here, when it goes down, you then get access to Lance Prism Star, or you get access to Zinnia. It is a great starter for a Dragon deck, and that's all it is. Don't expect it to be anything more than that. You're not going to tech it into any other deck because it's not hitting for weakness. But either your opponent KOs it, in which case you get access to Lance Prism Star, probably searching it out of a Tapu Lele, or your opponent doesn't KO it, which means you get time to manually evolve using Rare Candy and attach energy and all of that good stuff. We were needing a starting Pokemon for these Dragon decks. I've mentioned that in a couple of videos. Drampa is that starting Pokemon. So I'm giving it four Wossies, but there is a huge caveat here. It's four Wossies in a Dragon deck because we need a starter. It is like zero Wossies outside of that because you can't even use the first attack to accelerate anything to a non-Dragon Pokemon. It's a garbage card outside of Dragon decks, but it's a really good card inside of Dragon decks. 
So four Wassy sounds about right. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, I would love to hear from you guys. So let me know in the comment section what you think about this card. Go nuts, but be nice. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and so on, head on over to patreon.com slash ptcgradio, and do check out my Dragon Ball slash video game channel Wassy Plays for some more Wassy focused action. But by far the most important thing as always is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.